If you want some FIFA 23 coins, please check out MMOXP.com. Their link is down in the description. They're fast, cheap, and reliable. And if you use code REMA, you can get yourself a 5% discount. The new power shot mechanic is something that I often see misused in FIFA 23. I see people using it in the wrong positions with the wrong angle and the wrong setup. So I'm going to clear this up for you guys in this video. And I'm actually going to prove to you that this mechanic is broken in FIFA 23. Now, why is this mechanic broken? It's not for the reason than you might think. It's not because it is a powerful shot. It's not because it scores from long range. It is because of the players that actually score them. You would think the best players to take a power shot with would be your strikers or your cams, the ones with really good shooting stats, but you are absolutely wrong. Now, this could be a massive coincidence, even though I've done it like 20, 30 times, but for some reason, my center backs and my lower shooting players do them 10 times better than anyone else on the pitch. Hey, even Derrida from Pro Clubs bangs them in. Like, no joke. So what's the secret, you might be asking? Well, don't worry, I've got it for you now. The thing I've noticed with the power shot in FIFA 23 is it is not that important which player does them. It is more the setup that you have towards the power shot. If your player is at a weird angle facing away from the goal, he cannot generate the power and accuracy required to score them. But the key to making these shots unstoppable is generating a massive run-up with the shot which is why the defenders and your CDMs are so good at them. Now, I notice this more with lengthy players, but the more speed you build up before you do that power shot, the more venomous it is. Now, like I said, the reason I think this is broken is because the stats clearly do not matter. You can see from the examples I'm showing you, I'm using such low rated players. I'm even using the default players on pro clubs and they are banging them in. They have like 60 shooting. Hey, look, I even read time this one and it still went in so you should start believing me now. So just to be clear, to do this power shot technique, which is very difficult for the keeper to save, make sure you get a very good run up. And I mean, make sure you are running at speed. So when you do the power shot, you are adding extra power to it. It doesn't matter which player you use. I'm being serious. You can use some of the most terrible players and they can still score them. And in the rare case, you don't actually know how to do the power shot. It is a manual shot. So you actually have to aim it properly where you want it to go. And you have to press the left bumper and the right bumper so L1 on PlayStation and R1 or LB and RB on Xbox while pressing the shoot button. But the reason I made this video was literally to show you that the stats do not matter and this setup is crazy for the power shot and it really helps you score goals against those drop back opponents. So I hope you have fun scoring these absolute bangers. But yeah, that's everything for the video guys. If you have enjoyed it or found it useful, I'd very much appreciate it if you could drop it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you are new so you never miss out on any videos like this one and don't forget to turn on notifications so you are notified when a video is posted. And with all that aside, guys. Hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and I shall catch you all later. Peace.